All right, guys, welcome back. I told you I'd be right back, boys. And guess what? I'm going to start the new game for Thursday tonight. We'll do, because we got like a good few, we got like a good several minutes left, about like, you know, about an hour and a half, I guess is the best time. I guess is the best way to put it. So, guys, let's hop into some Star Control Origins. Why the heck is Star Control Origins? Star Control Origins, Mutter? Is yeah. the prequel, is like the prequel to one of the best space sims ever made. Whoa. That sounds pretty cool. I'm trying to be like that, like that very, you know, that like background character that like hypes up the main guy. That was but totally that was wicked. Wow, that sounds interesting. Wait, this game's got a couch play. Oh, that makes sense because there's a multiplayer feature. Is it showing up, guy? No, it's not. Get your money. Hold up. Long ago. Wait, there we go. So guys, welcome to Star Control. So we're gonna Star Control Origins. Hey guys, welcome to Star Control Origins. Earth Rising. Earth Hold Rising. On. Yes. That's what I said. We need you to save the universe. We need you to save the universe. So this is a, f so Star Control Two was a stream that I gotta go was a game I gotta go back to for the stream. Okay, it was a strange game that involves a lot of weird, horrible. Th thank you for the air support. Thank you for the air support pen. But it it was a game where you talk to aliens and try to figure out like all sorts of kooky solutions to help their problems. This game is very similar. This game is very similar, but it's updated extremely well. So, I hope we do well with this. I hope we do well with this. Hey, hey, hey. You're Timmy, I'm Tommy. I believe this is an alien transmission. <laughs> and this is originating from where exactly? So it should we be talking like this? <laughs> Recall the captain. Yeah, I'm just gonna repeat Tell what you said. What needed. Of course. He's still on administrative leave from the incident. That no longer matters. He's the only one qualified to command the prototype Vindicator. Oh, boy. So. Well, here we go. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. This and is your captain speaking. And everyone knows who I am. I'm Captain Merrick. He's Captain Merrick. Of the starship. Of the starship. This, I'm gonna call this the Delano... Let's call her the Delano, uh, one. The Mission, Delano one? Mission difficulty normal. Alright, cool. The UES Delano One. Honestly, I think I should have called it the Delano. And there, that's not the Delano One. That's the Delano One. Supplies should be coming over to you shortly, Captain. Time to get started. Star Control is ordering you to travel to Triton and investigate the alien radio signal that's originating there. 
What do you know about this radio signal? It's just a series radio of regular signal. pulses at 1.42 gigahertz. That's the hydrogen line, in case you've forgotten your radio astronomy. Some very excitable men in glasses are pretty sure if aliens ever try contacting us, they'll do it on that frequency. They are substantially less certain why aliens might be on one of Neptune's moons, though. What should I do when I reach Triton? Scan its surface from orbit. If you find the signal, send one of your ship's landers down to the surface to examine it further. If it is an alien, you are ordered to not die. Is and Justin Beaver right real? Way. Justin Beaver. You oh, mean? Come on, man. That's insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> should I should I attempt to make contact with the alien? If you believe it's safe to do Touch so. Touch the yes. alien's face. Just please be careful, Captain. Gotcha. Uh, wow. You know what? I'm gonna call her. S I, I don't. We don't have it. We don't have it. I'm just gonna call her Sweet Cheeks for now. Uh, what do you know? What's up, Sweet Cheeks? What's up? Does this super does this supersede our mission to investigate the Lex sites? Not entirely. <laughs> Their departure is the whole reason we have a star control in the first place. Your mission to Triton takes priority, but if you do discover anything concerning the Lex sites, <laughs> Damn, you should tell us right alien away. Looking thick. <laughs> Are the Lexites dangerous? Well, they're essentially human, so yes. Dangerous. But Ooh. even during the chaos of their exodus, when they oh, were stealing our launch craft, die. they went to great lengths to avoid harming anyone. Still, they obviously have access to technology we've never even contemplated. If you do run into them, be careful, Captain. Uh, do we know why the Lexites left? Do you know where the Lexites went? We still have no idea. For post-humans, or whatever they call themselves, they sure didn't talk about themselves as mm -hmm. much as us original versions like to. We've combed over their facility on the moon, hoping to find some hints, but haven't found anything. They never seemed to be upset with us, or expressed any great unhappiness with their situation on Earth. Which is maybe surprising, considering some of the abuse they took. My theory? They got bored with us. Bored with human affairs. Maybe bored of our smell. Human stank. Do you know where the Lexites went? After they left Earth in 2085. We know they set up on the moon for a short while, what? but that was just a staging area. This is a lot of- uh, Oh yeah, by the way guys, this is a lot of like, lore oh. stuff too, I should say. That's enough about the Lexites. Sure, Captain. Uh, any advice in the actual journey to Triton? Already forgotten how to captain a starship, Captain? No, not at all. That's not a good sign. What do you want to know? How do I visit? How do I upgrade my? Actually, I want to know this. How do I upgrade my ship? We have limited resources here right now, Captain. We used up a lot rushing the construction of that vessel. If you find raw materials mm -hmm. on any worlds in the system, you can return with them here. We'll calculate what they're worth and present this to you uh, as resource okay. units, or are you? Okay. You can use RU to purchase new components for your ship. Okay. That's it. Thanks. Hope that helps, Captain. Okay, so basically, literally just like Star basic Control stuff. Has accelerated the construction of our new modular deep solar system vessel specifically for this Wait, mission. What is this? It's the fastest, most <laughs> expensive ship humanity has ever made, Captain. Try not to lose it. I'm not going to blow up our ship. I won't. It's also equipped with our latest resource collection landers, which I would encourage you to make heavy use of. Yes, of course. We used up a lot of materials to make that thing. If we want to make any more Vindicator class vessels, we're going to need you to collect the resources to do it. <laughs> Looks like you've got everything yeah. stowed away now, Captain. You're all set. Well, what's, what's the next one? Good luck. And Good please luck. Hurry. Please hurry. All right. There are a lot of people down on Earth anxious to find out what's going on. Gotcha, sweet cheeks. Well, you know what? Since now that we have now that we have control of our ship, let's go to the moon. We're going to the moon. <gasps> we can go. We gotta yeah, find. Going to the moon was that easy. Let's piss off. Let's piss off. Uh, sweet merciful Celestia and try to find Luna on the moon. You know, I had a nightmare recently about the moon like crashing into the Earth, and I saw like a very detailed moon just like getting closer and closer. Resource and terrifying, and I just shit to myself. View your and yeah. Sounds like Majora's Great. Mask. It, yeah, except without the face. It felt so real. 
Well, you want to know the scary part about Majora's Mask, Mutter, with that? The, the original build of the game, it didn't have the face. Whoa. Yep. That's pretty poggers. Alright. So this is, like, the main meat of the game. Going around on- going around onto, like, planets and, like, places and discovering stuff. So this is the Lexite ruins that they told us about. Let's investigate. Captain, this is the lunar facility the Lexites settled after they first left Earth. We've sent surveyors here before, and I don't think much has changed since then. What? Not from all the dust I can see. It doesn't look like the Lexites were here long after they arrived in 2085. This was just a staging area they used before traveling elsewhere. No idea where they went after this, but you know that as well as I do. Oh, no, it's fine. Finding them is why we have a star control in the first place. Captain, so, uh, there's something powering on here. What's up? Blinking lights, humming sounds. There's a computer screen turning on. Uh -oh. It says, Threat to Remnants Detected. Lander self defense there's technology ready to be used. Insert uranium Truly to power. There's a slot in the device here. Do we have any uranium we can feed this thing? Ooh. I, don't, ah. I don't keep that on me. Ooh. We'll have to come back later then, or ignore this entirely. Your call, Captain. Ooh. All right. We already found something interesting. If we come back here with uranium, we can get something cool. Or something cool is going to happen. But yeah, no, this is like the meat and potatoes of the game right here. You go around onto a planet, and you kind of like zoom around, and you collect all sorts of stuff while also falling into uh, craters and stuff. It it's very simplistic, but it's really fun and addictive once you really get to play it. Star Control 2 did this in 2D. And I have a, I have all the stream I have all the streams I did of Star Control 2 so far on the channel if you want, if you guys want to check that out. But I'm glad to actually be starting this one because this one's really fun too. Though it's got like a lot of mixed like thoughts and shit like that people have with it. Let's see. Am I am I missing anything? It's a 65 iron. It's a 65 iron remain. I want to start listening to Miku. Well, I want to listen to vocaloids. I want to listen to music. I've never listened to it before. But you know what? I'm about to start. All right. Now that we got all the stuff, we can launch off this rock. All right, so we got a lot of iron. We gotta get to Triton. Let's check out Venus. Let's check out Venus. Venus doesn't get a lot of love in our like star maps and shit. Captain, this planet is well beyond our ability to land on. Oh. We find some way to improve our lander technology to have a hope of safely exploring the surface here. Oh shit. Well, we can't go to Venus. Uh oh. Yeah. You know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> you know what? Let's go to Mars, dudes! <laughs> SpaceX wishes they could do this shit. Sir, we're detecting two unidentified objects on the surface of Mars. Is this something to do with the Lexites? Or something else entirely? Ooh, interesting. Alright, so there's a drop mini game! Ah! Alright, so there's nitrous oxide, copper, and titanium. What is this? Oh, Captain, this is amazing. It looks like part of the Ooh. spaceship. It's radio Are you still on the moon? You look like you're on Mars. We were, we're on Mars. Still, oh. we're going to bring it back to the ship for analysis. Huh. I was paying attention. For well then, we found, a, we found a piece of an alien vessel. Bring it home. Ooh, Can another... Can rover, rover uh, here? Another piece of the alien vessel. Oh, Captain, this is amazing. It looks like part of an alien spaceship. It's radio silent though, so it can't be. Little we're dog sent Raven, out to Rover, for. Rover here. Still, Raven. we're going to bring it back to the ship for analysis. <laughs> if I find, if I find Rover, I'll I'll bring him home. I promise. Okay. He's so alone. He thinks happy birthday to himself. Didn't wait. Didn't Rover die though? Yeah. <laughs> You know, he might, you know, he might be the copper and titanium that's on the surface that we're collecting. No, don't say that first. Hey, we did it. We got all the stuff here. 
And we found two pieces of an alien spaceship. That's cool. I wonder if it belongs to the aliens that are on Triton. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. What is next? Jupiter? I forgot. I, I forgot my planetary rings, so... No. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars... Holy Wait. shit. I completely forgot that I'm not in call on my computer and I was just about to start listening to fucking Me Too. <laughs> I'm like, Cirrus. Oh, Cirrus training base. That's a Metroid. Wait a minute. That's a Metroid reference. Cirrus. Well then. Let's head over to Jupiter. Adras... Adrastea. What's on this planet? Uru uranium! Well then, we could go back to that thing on the moon now. You see, exploring our cosmos is amazing. But all sorts of cool stuff on the Jupiter's moons. You know what? I can't- I can't wait until we're like, you know, traveling through space and shit like that, right? And we're discovering so many planets. I wonder- I wonder if our scientists are gonna get bored and just start naming like, Oh, that- that planet's Jupiter 2. They probably would. I wouldn't be surprised if they already have. That- that planet right there? That's Pluto 5. <laughs> no. Welcome to Earth 3. Well, let's go back to the moon. We got some uranium. I don't know if we need a specific amount. I find it funny. We're ignoring our mission to go talk to aliens on Triton just to discover something on the moon. So, guys, guys, do you think aliens exist? Like... I think they do. I'm, talk I'm talking about, like, in the game. Like, they can't exist. They're definitely- they they Aliens definitely can't exist, can they? Yeah. Yeah, that piece of an alien spaceship, you know what that was? <laughs> that was just a- <laughs> No. Uh. Well, no, no, aliens are- I, I, I do think that there's, like, intelligent life out there. We can't be the only, like, you know- We'd have to be really We're back at unlucky. The Lexi's lunar facility, Captain. The one with the weird device. There's a slot in the device here. Do we have any uranium we can feed this thing? We do. Coming to your Crazy. homes in two months. It has oxygen, water. It is Earth Four. <laughs> well, it's some kind Machinery. of laser gun, Captain. Looks like it fits right on our lander. That was nice of the Lexites. Ooh. <gasps> we have a laser. Hey, Captain. Laser gun. Why don't we try shooting some rocks in the name of research? Oh. Oh shit. It's waste. Whoa. Oh. Earth four. Oh boy. Here we go. Let's fuck some shit up. Beep, 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 beep. Gold and iron. Do you th oh, wait? Is could gold be really on the moon? I mean, I don't know. You don't know what's on the moon. Well, it it, it it's basically tight. All right, you know what the moon is. You know what the moon pretty much is, right? Rock. It, it's tiny. It's tiny Earth. Just like no, it just didn't get any plants and shit. That's funny. I wish. Imagine if the moon was like a tiny Earth. That'd be so cute. It's teeny. It's teeny weeny. Earth. Well, we could, in theory, in theory, we could terraform the surface and plant like trees and stuff, right? Well, it doesn't have like the same atmosphere or anything like that, does it? 
I mean cheese. Yeah, cheese. The moon is che right. Yeah, right. It's gold. It's freaking. It's just. It's just American. The gold is just American cheese. Ew! Why American cheese? That's like the worst. Hey, hey, hey! Don't be dissing processed American cheese. It's disgusting. And I'm not. I think I might be biased because it's all I've had growing up. But it still tastes like steak compared to a lot. Did you what, what 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 type of American cheese? Did freaking craft selects? I don't know. The, the, the little the little craft singles that are wrapped in like uh, and taste like chemicals. You gotta do what you gotta do when you're food. Okay? The, 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 you have to have like you have to have like boars had American cheese, man. Yeah, sometimes it's stuck in like the crack, but like just the wrapper. The moon so is like, made of cheese. cheese oh wait, anybody, anybody watch Local 58 on YouTube? That thing where like the moon, that that thing where like the moon is supposed to be like alive or something like that. What if there was a planet out there, out of like all of the billions and trillions out there? That was made of cheese. One has to be made of cheese. Yeah, right. Wouldn't like would that be weird? Well, in Star Control, like, in Star one? Control 2, no. Yeah, local, fi like, um, we're missing, we're There's pissing off the moon by shooting in the rocks and shit off. No, but, like, in Star Control 2, I found a planet that seemed to be made of cheese because it was populated by lizards, by, like, lizards and snake and, like, little mice creatures. Hmm. Let's land on the sun! No. You can't land on stars, it says. Are there rocks on here? Sorry, sorry for checking all the planets I've been to, guys. But now that we got this laser cannon, we can harvest with- Oh, it's full auto, too! Ooh! Merrick Likey! Oh, yeah. Alright, wait, I think I got everything here. Yep, no, there's no rocks on the surface. Well, back to space! We got two landers, so we gotta be careful. Can't go to Mercury yet. So let's go back to Jupiter. Jupiter. Jupiter is big. You will get lost. Are there are there were there rocks on this planet? I don't remember. If there are, I'm gonna blast them. Let's bust up some rocks. I feel like I'm playing a Star Wars game again. Alright, there's nothing on here. So, let's go back to space! Let's check out some of the other moons of Jupiter. Captain, we're still detecting that signal from Triton. We should travel to the moon and scan it. Too bad. We're going to Ganymede instead. Mm. Captain. Captain, we gotta go to Triton. Ganymede. But, but, Captain, there's aliens on... Ganymede. We go to Ganymede. But Captain, our, it's it's imperative that our mission, we go to Ganymede. So anyways, it started blasting. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Looks like an old Russian space. <gasps> we found Sputnik. It's neat, but not much we can do with it. Sputnik. Wait, what is that? What is it? What does the flag say? Wait, wait. Oh, we can't read it. Flag. We're back at that old rush. It's neat, but not much we can do with it. Blast it! 
and it did nothing. Wow, the Russians were to fucking Ganymede before we even made it there. Who would have guessed? I'd just like to inform you that for the past 10 minutes I've been listening to a song by Hatsune Miku. But it was a remix. So I started blasting lasers and then Hatsune Miku started playing. Io. Yeah. Ooh. We're detecting an unidentified object on the surface. We may want to send a lander down to investigate. Definitely. Let's do it. Let's do it, bros. What? Why do we touch down in the middle of an ice storm? What the frick? Oh man, we we lost someone. Oh no, we lost two people. Okay, we gotta be careful. Okay, so what is this? Ice and poisonous gas? Probably. We found. Well, the planet's partially made of. Ooh, what is this? Well, this is a heck of a thing, Captain. We found some kind of monument here. At least I think it's a monument. It's a big, multicolored slab of metal with odd protrusions. Thank you, Crimson. Balls and sticks, kind of. There's text on it or graffiti. Pictures of aliens fighting? I'm honestly not sure. No human language, anyways. Not much we can do with it, but admire it. And done. We'll just leave this here then. Teddy bear. Teddy panda, more like it, but. Well, we found something. Alien. We found something alien. You see what happens when we go to other planets that aren't the ones we gotta go to on a mission? We discover all sorts of cool shit. All sorts. Just trying to avoid the storms of death. Is that one in a storm? No. Wait, no. Wait, what? Oh, oh. Nope, there, there's the thing. Let's go. Ah! 35 nickel, let's get out of here. Rocket ship in space. Yep, spaceman. All right, so Europa. Let's head to Io next. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter. Saturn is next, right? Io. I have no idea. Captain, the weather on this planet right. will make landing very difficult. We'll need better landers to manage it. Well, we can't go to Io. Are those different music tracks for? Ooh, Callisto. Spaceman. Thulium. Phosphorus and Thulium. I don't know what Thulium is, but I'll take it. cool little theme. The music in this game is really good. I like this. Okay, now, now all we need to do is just get the phosphorus and get the hell out of here. I don't like the sound of that. I hear a bad noise. I hear a... I hear a bad noise. Mutter, I think the Vocaloids have come to life. Yes, let them rise. Well, we got everything here. Let's go to space! Oh. We're, we, we lost, like, two people in the crew. Hmm. Alright, let's head over to Triton. We'll hit, ev we'll hit every other little planetoid. There can't be aliens on Triton. I think this is kind of bullshitty. Captain, we've located the source of the radio signal. It looks like there's a crashed ship down there. A crashed ship, you say? Let's take a look for let's take a look for ourselves. I think we're all just a little cray cray right now. Th there's no aliens there here, guys. I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna disprove it. Is 
<laughs> I'm gonna disprove the existence of aliens in a video game about aliens. Yeah, let's do this shit. There's no aliens here. <clears throat> I'm on my computer now. Slice of life, a slice of life, a lions. Wait. Wait. Oh my god. That looks like a lot of aluminum. Let's go get it. Oh man, we need to get we need to get that ammonia. Oh my god. There's some ammonia over there. Let's go get it. No, no, the, 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 look, the aliens don't want our cat's pen. They don't, they don't want our, tr wait, they don't want our trees neither. Okay, alright, look, this is just a rock formation, this is not an alien ship. The, I'm gonna prove right now, I'm gonna prove right now this is nothing, this is just a rock formation that just so happens to look like a spaceship. This is nothing. Oh fuck. You actually came. No, it ripped. Whatever. I can't tell you how sweaty we are to see you. Oh, how yeah. sweaty? Uh You're a giant space slug. And you're a medium-sized mammal. We come in all shapes and densities, human. <sighs> I am Chief Viscati. Yeah, bro, look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head. The Taiwan. What are you doing? What? N n nice to meet you. What are you doing here? Nice to meet you, Wimdu. I'm a human of Earth. You think it's nice to meet me? That's a wonderful change from the usual disgust and contempt we receive when meeting new species. Oh, no. What are you doing on Triton, Wimdu? It's a funny story. You like it. It starts with these guys called the Scry. They're the ones who shot us down. They're kind of our friends. Why'd they shoot you down then? If people shoot you down, they're not really your friends. That makes so much sense when you see it that way. Oh, this We're stupid alien so cute. I love his stupid nose. Drive. We began receiving your radio transmissions about 50 years ago. You're a fascinating species. And because we knew the scribe would destroy you if they found you, we've been keeping you a secret from them. A secret? At least we were until a few months ago. The scribe had evidently received traces of your radio broadcasts themselves. Oh, this doesn't sound they good. They dropped some pretty terrifying hints that they were looking for you. Oh, shit. We were on our way here to stall them, which we did, by getting shot down by them. Hence the distress call. Seems like you need um... more help from us than the other way around. That's a fair point. Still, what's a few favors between friends? What help do you need? We better get back to Earth to warn them about these scribe. You probably should. The scribe are looking for you in this area of space. They don't know exactly where you are, but they will find you. Not a lot of humans are going to survive that process. The good news is, we can help you. If you help us first. Most of our systems were squished when we dropped out of hyperspace. Our hyperwave radio was one of them. Which no, but the bitch is gone. The old -fashioned <laughs> way. Also, half of our entire ship fell off. Now we might actually be able to repair all that damage, but we wow, that's a lot of damage. We need that other half of our spaceship back. You can fix half of your ship falling off? We can. I don't want to bore you with all the little technical details. Simply put, 
We are really good at our jobs here. You look like you're incredibly good for your jobs. Where did the other half of your ship go? It went down on a planet somewhere in your solar system. I'm not sure where precisely. All planets look the same when you're crying. Though if I had to guess, I'd say it was around <laughs> one of your larger, bluer worlds. Also, we lost a couple of hyperdrive modules. We'll definitely need those if we want to not starve to death far from home. He cried. Finding all of this shouldn't be a problem for a ship with both its halves. Why he cried? Because half his ship fell off and flew through space. <laughs> I like his face. <laughs> He's very, like, focused right now. Mr. Sandman. You're not dreaming. Bring me a dream. You're not dreaming, Crimson. Make we met an alien. I've ever seen. Let's talk about- let's talk about the help you're going to offer us. Before we help, we had some questions. Oh, he's moist. What what did you need us to do again? So you've been spying on us? Spying makes it sound so creepy. I mean, it is creepy. It just doesn't have to sound that way. We prefer to call it potential friend oversight. That makes it sound a little creepier. Yeah, we're never going to completely get away from the creepiness problems here. <laughs> Why were you spying on us? The Scribe have sort of left us in charge of this part of their empire. Though not in a way that gave us any actual authority. But that is how we found you about 50 years ago. We thought about contacting you a lot but experience has taught us that it's wise not to interfere with aliens before they're ready. Mostly, we just watched your television shows. You watched our TV? Sort of in person. Did you know that? Wait, were you the ones doing the abductions with the probing? No. That was you. <laughs> you. We just watched. Something went into the woods. We came out walking funny. And we made all that up as an excuse. We never had anything to do with that. No matter how much we wanted to talk to you. And hug you. And hold you. And cuddle you. Until you could travel the stars for yourselves. It was safest if we just... Oh. No. Oh. Oh, your user picture. Okay, I see. We wanted to ask you about something else. Of course. Tell us more about these scribe. They're the dominant species in this part of the galaxy. Or at least the part of the galaxy we know about. When we first reached the stars, it was the scribe that met us and forcefully included us into their empire. No offense, but why would they let us- why would they let you slugs in, but not us? We joined the Empire about 600 years ago. The oh, because we're cool. Our since then. These days, they're really more into exterminating new species they encounter. Is this like a Thanos thing? I'm sure they'll understand our potential once they get to know us. You don't think we can beat them in a fight? No. No, you can't. As surly as humans are, you are nothing next to the scribe. Their surliness technology is thousands of years more advanced than yours. You guys don't even know about hyperspace. Hyperspace? Okay. hope fighting them if they find you. <laughs> What's hyperspace? What's hyperspace? Oh, uh, it's just the best oh, thing. It's how we travel between the stars. 
Without hyperspace, it would take you hundreds of years to get to the closest star. Based on your technological development so far, you humans are probably still a hundred or so years away from building your own hyperdrive. No offense, wait. How are you protecting us from them? Because we knew the scribe would wipe you out if they found you. We've often kept the ship in the area to steer them away if they came by. Uh -huh. Don't even bother checking out that yellow star, we'd say. Not a great plan, I realize, as I say okay? out But it was never an issue. They actually don't care that much of what happens in this neighborhood. Until just recently, anyways. Hmm. And why were you and why were you protecting us? Entirely unselfish reasons, you could be sure of that. Honestly, once we started watching your shows and writing fan fiction for your They shows, wrote fan fiction? <laughs> taking that fan Hell fiction yeah. a bit too far for your shows. We could hardly just sit back and do nothing. Wow. That's enough about the scribe. Yeah, we don't much like talking about them either. All right, that's enough questions. So, will you help? We'll help. In fact, we've already found some of your missing stuff. Great. We'll give you so many hugs if you manage to succeed. Sounds good. We'll get to it. Well then, that was very friendly. Well, wow. let's let's find the rest of their ship. A blue planet, eh? Maybe half of it fell into Neptune. You get, you get, honey? Non landable, sir. Right, it's a gas giant. We can't land on it. What did you get? Wait, guys, Pluto. What? Pluto. We can't forget about Pluto, the first planet. Pluto's I like Pluto. A, Pluto's a planet, Mutter, and you know it. I love Pluto. Later, Pen. Small, have a good night. Just a small rock. Here we go. I had, a f I had a feeling that like this game was gonna put someone to sleep. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of like build up, build up, build up. But look at our solar system. Look at how vast it is. Mm. Wow. We can get around this. We can get around like our solar system in just a few days. Artemis. Oh, Artemis. Hey, it's Artemis. Yeah, ever since we found this thing all the way out here in the 40s, scientists have been wondering if it would get more interesting. And, uh, nope. Not today. Well then. That was, uh... Oh, Elpis! Ooh! Captain, we're detecting movement on the surface. Looks like some kind of robotic drone. We'll have to be careful. Movement? Let's fuck some shit up, boys! Whoa, wait, what? Wait. Oh, shit! Suck on that! Drone debris. Who put these drones here? There's another one! Another one! Ra Radon. Krypton. Woo! I almost crashed into one. Another drone. There's another one. And I don't know 
Oh wow, this place has got a lot of this place has got like a lot of like stuff on it. I'm actually kind of glad I started this. I was gonna play Fallout 4 instead, but nah. There we go. Oh shit! Nice. Europium. We're getting a lot of good stuff. There's one more drone left. Fluorine. This prosium. Another really, bit of drone. All we need is what we have left is fluorine. Let's go grab it. Ooh, ruins. Captain, you're not gonna believe it. This looks like it's another le Oh, so the drones after they left the moon. More well equipped than their lunar facility. There's equipment here that's clearly intended for constructing a starship. Ooh. Oh, this is nuts. There's a star chart here, Captain. Looks like the W-51 giant molecular cloud is highlighted. That's like 17,000 light years away. There's more. The radio antenna outside seems to be tracking W-51 whenever it's above the horizon. Did the Lexites decipher something in the W-51 radio source? Is that where they're going? Interesting. Going away from. No Lexites around to ask any questions. Looks like they left in a hurry. There are a lot of spare parts just left lying around. We should notify Earth about this. Wait, here's something. This is a ship. A small one. Clearly they didn't build the whole hangar for just this. An interceptor, maybe. But oh it looks Lord. incomplete. If I'm reading these engine schematics right, it looks like its thrusters require neutronium to operate. Neutronium. I don't think we have any of that in this solar system, no, Captain. I guess that's why the Lexites left this behind. Oh well, maybe we can come back to this later. Interesting. Well then, we found another Lexite facility and they were hiding something. They were hiding. It's on my computer. Cool. Well then. We didn't find the rest of their ships, so I think we should go check out Saturn. Because that's got some moons on it. Oh, we also can't forget, uh, Uranus. Yes, I said Uranus. <laughs> Uranus, <laughs> And I thought that we could be Get civil. It because it means butthole. <laughs> and I thought that we could be, and I thought that we could be civil. <laughs> Holy That's fuck, funny. we're of course, we're of course, we're of course. Ah! All right. Well. Oh shit. Wait, what? Lightning strike twice in the same place? That's impossible. That's not impossible. Terbium. I remember when I remember when lightning was said to like strike like objects like the Empire State Building and disperse from there. People believe that. And that's like really, 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 really old. Knowledge. Bromine. Xenon. Tungsten. Terbium. Unless but not least some more tungsten. Look at that. Isn't Xenon just gold, anyway? Well... Enceladus. This has to be Titan. We're off course!
Well, shit. Face planted. Well, then we better be careful. There's storms and everything here and poisonous clouds. Oh, there's a lot of lightning on Titan. Metal oxides, okay. Strontium. Barium! Whoa! Metal. Strontium 90! Oh my god. Titan has so many resources though, wow! Barium, strontium. We really need to start, like, look, we need to start, like, exploring other, like, planets soon and start mining them. If this is, like, if there's all sorts of this crap on planets and shit. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you say my collection is complete? Well, I got more barium. Who was it discovered by? Someone named Barry? Like, why, like, why do all these elements sound fucking weird? Like, were they named after people? Like, was there someone named, like, Radon or some shit like that? Radon. Imagine, imagine, what if we, what if we found, like, a new element and it was found by some guy named, would it be called Stevium or some shit like that? Ew! That's such a boring name. How do, like, though, but how do we name, how do we name, like, uh, new elements, exactly? Do we name them after know. the, do we name after the people who find them? Do we name them after, like... Latin. <laughs> Stevium. Bruh. Mud. Mudium. Kyle. <laughs> Imagine an element being named after Kyle. Kyle. Kyle Liam. Kyle Liam. It sounds it sounds like a good element name. No. Lexium. Sirius XM. Sirius XM. K T T Y. Alright, well we found everything it's there, like, so it's like a radio station name. Series XM. That leave that leaves the only other prop possible safe place to explore. It was fine. It was, it was pretty good. Unless somehow we can explore Mercury. Oh wait, no. There's two more. There's two more moons we can check out. Let's go see. And it's also a blue planet. So there we go. We might be able to find something. Let's go check out Oberon first. Miranda. Sir, we're detecting an unidentified object on the surface. We may want to send a lander down to invest. Let's go. I, I never knew there was a celestial body in our in our solar system named Miranda. That's pretty damn funny. Oh, we found the piece Miranda. of their ship. This looks like the part of the ship that friendly slug is missing. We'll load See, up there are some freaks, but I'm trying to desperate. I'm trying to desperate. You're not basically doing the exact opposite of what you would do in a French raid. You go over one piece and of strontium. Add more hair with a French raid, but you go under and add more hair as you go under. You have to like grab it as you go under instead Let's of go. more hair to the other side. I you know I don't think you understand. But wow, I'm Oberon sorry. was kind of uneventful. Nope. Uranus. Uranus. Ur Uranus doesn't sound any better. I don't know, that's how I say it. Because uh, I don't like saying Uranus. <laughs> imagine imagine if they decided to say fuck it, we're gonna name oh, it Uranus. 
<laughs> you wrecked them. That'd be hilarious. It looks like a crashed automobile. No idea how it got here. We were sending it. We got a Tesla. We found it. Wait, we found the Tesla that fucking Elon Musk shot into space. Oh wow, that's amazing. Love Elon Musk. Love that guy. <laughs> cat, cat girls are cat girls are real. We just like funding. Stop. <laughs> I wish I had yellow feathers. I wish I had yellow feathers. I just want one yellow feather so I can add it to my hat. What the fuck is that? Scribe. No, the scribe, they found us! Oh shit! Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Spectrum analysis, technological development level T3. T3 M4? Facial edge discrimination does not match. Wow. You are not a Taiwan. You are not a Taiwan. Who are you? Uh. No, we're Taiwan. Check again. Remain where you are. A scribe legend has been notified of her unauthorized existence and is approaching the sector now. Hold. Transmission incoming. Oh no, 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 no. Orders received. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Fuck, we got a space battle. We're not doing this. Well then. Well, we then. we have to send the Delano one. All right, you son of a bitch, let's go! Oh, I got lasers. We won. Well then, that space combat is pretty much the same from all the Star Control games for the most part. You know what? I, I I might as well put together a soundtrack of all of like the of all like my favorite Star Control songs and use that as like the beginning of these streams next Thursday. Mm. It's kind of weird. It's kind of it's very weird to play this game on a Thursday, considering the last time I played a Star Control game was on uh, Sunday. Bam 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 bam. Well, let's go. Let's go tell the Taiwan we found their ship pieces, and we could go back to Earth and report about the scribe. And we have we just already destroyed a probe. Our new probable friends came back. Hey, did you get everything we need to repair our vessel? We found your stuff. You did. That's oh shit! That's he's so scared. Look at him. Did you tell them we were here? He's going ah. No, but it said some pretty concerning things about clearing our system. Well, now that sounds extremely not good. Like I said, if you help us repair our ship, we might be able to help you deal with the scribe. So, have you found everything we need to repair our vessel? Yeah, we have it here for you. Great! Now we can fix our ship. You, st you stand by watching the Taiwan Pixel ship in surprising speed. For a slug, they're pretty damn fast. <laughs> We've repaired the hull damage and restored power to our propulsion systems. Wow. It will take another minute or so to get our defensive systems online. So please, don't murder us. <laughs> we wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> we'll see. We wouldn't dream of it. Ominous. So, my new damp chum, why don't we head back to Earth? You can introduce us to your parents and leaders. We can tell them what we've told you, or we can just hang out. Or you can hold up your end of the deal.
You're not swimming with any diseases, are you? Most definitely. But we have procedures to minimize the health-related risks of contact with alien species. Meeting aliens is not new to us, human. Come on, then. We better not re you we'd better not regret this, Taiwan. Come on, then. Hooray! Okay. I don't want to be a jerk to Slug Zoidberg. Slug. Well then, we found everything. Let's get back to Earth and report on what's going on. Oh, what the fuck is that? A Scribe Light Cruiser. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna see what a Scribe is. Uh oh. Oh God! Permission to exist? Why do we have permission to exist, and you don't have permission to be here? What? Oh my God! He's like a golden robot bug. With, like, some very, very, like, sluggy hands. Correction. Nope, this one's ours. That's funny, we haven't seen you around here much. Are those his eyes? No. No, his eyes are under his little helmet there. Savage, you don't even know us. I think we got him on the wrong foot. We greet you, been peace. Savage, you don't even know us! This is what he calls a savage. Savage! 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 savage. All right, all I have to say, though, the music for these guys isn't as cool as the Urk one. Mm. You, seven, you said you haven't told your superiors about us yet. Come from? That's a rhetorical question, actually. I know exactly where that came from. A bad, bad place. We're still repairing our weapon systems. Don't die. So we won't be able to help you, which is a shame because we really, really wanted to do that. Good luck. Oh, fuck no. Don't tell me these guys are going to be like the fucking, uh... The second, uh, Spothy here. They're not gonna help us. HOLY SHIT! Oh, <gasps> what is that move? OH GOD! OH GOD! How am I going to survive this? Alright, they're coming around for another fist! Fire all missiles! We only have nuclear weapons. Wait, we're winning? How are we winning? You did great, best friend. You are so I feel awesome. like that should have killed us. And sexy. 
What? 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 You... What did you just... You just called her sexy! Oh, that's good. The slug guy and said that? Error, probably. Yes. That happens sometimes. Oh. Anytime we say something weird or uncomfortable, <laughs> that'll be a translation error. Uh... How about we get around to save humanity from the murder aliens? Of course. And it's not just a humanity saving deal now. It's also a Taiwan saving deal. I don't know if you caught it, but that scribe did just threaten to kill all Taiwan everywhere. We blew them up though. That's not gonna go over well back home. But first, let's go to Earth. I imagine your leaders will want to talk about this. And when you get here, we have something we need to give you. Close communication channel. Well then. That was very eventful. Hmm. It's Earth. 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 You survived. I brought back a friend. So I see. You fill the commander. You fill in commander's sweet cheeks of various alien saving and alien killing activities. So, we're definitely not alone in this universe. We've suspected as much for a while. Those weird caves on Ceres, the scraps of distant radio signals, all those missing giraffes. Missing giraffes? Proves it. There are aliens out there, including some pretty mean ones. These scribes sound terrifying. The time bomb seemed to have allied with them somehow. I don't know if allied is the right word. Wimdu claims the scribes sometimes integrate new aliens into their empire as vassal states of some kind. And if what Wimdu says is true about their current attitude to young alien species, Obliterated sounds like the more likely fate they'll have planned for us. But We're boned. Engagement with them lends us hope that we might not be completely defenseless. A shame it had to come to that. No one woke up today wanting a war with a race of murderous space centaurs. We'll begin preparing a defensive fleet right away. Still, there's a lot about this situation that we don't know. What do you think of this Wimdu? Do you trust him, Captain? I haven't seen anything to make doubt of him. You're lucky then. He kept trying to hug me. But it doesn't look like we can afford to turn down any friends at this point. The Taiwan have graciously offered to install something on your ship. Wham, 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 Ooh. Wham, wham, hyperspace wham, module. Ooh. You will apparently be able to travel faster than the speed of light. Ooh. We want you to go with the Taiwan to his home planet and request an alliance with his people. Ooh. Should we send? Should we send a diplomat, a president, at least a mayor? If this works, we'll be sending actual diplomats later to handle the details. But Wimby has insisted that you make the first gesture. I think he has a bit of a crush on you. And you did save one of their ships. The Taiwan will trust you more than any other human. Moreover, you wouldn't be in command of that ship if you weren't smart and diplomatic and uh, me passing all the sanity tests. <laughs> you passed? Sure did! Don't believe it. Sure did! Nice, Captain. Hard to believe. Help patch up the Taiwan ship. They've requested you travel with them to their homeworld in the Alpha Repeculae system. Head there right away. Then if Receive you can, the Taiwan Defender. an alliance between the Taiwan and Earth. After that, see what other information you can gather about the scribe and the galaxy around us. Interesting. Paying particular attention to the parts of the galaxy that want to destroy us. We need to get up to speed quickly here. What if I need to resup what if I need to resupply the ship? According to Wimdu, Alpha Repeculae is a short distance away by hyperdrive. You should have plenty of fuel to make it there and back. If you want to offload any minerals you've collected or refuel now, I suppose you can do that. 
Just Let's go to the shipyard. Actually, we we actually found something weird in the Lexi ruin in the moon. Yeah, we've seen the playback of your visit there. Look, Captain, finding out what happened to the Lexites is important. We can hardly ignore the original mission of Star Control. But recent events have rather overtaken things, wouldn't you say? We already knew about the facility on the moon. Your orders were to travel to Alpha Repeculae. Investigate the Lexite ruins when you have time. I'm not sure that's now. We found another Lexite facility on Elpis. Yeah, we've seen the recordings of your activities on the surface. So, we didn't tell you the whole story, Captain. In fact, nobody outside of Star Control's senior ranks knows what I'm about to tell you. Before the Lexites left, they contacted the leaders of every government in the world and delivered a threat. Not a threat from them, but a threat from someone else. The Lexites had evidently deciphered a radio signal, the first solid evidence of alien life. Alien life that was killing each other. The Lexites wouldn't share the entire message with us, but they believed this signal posed an immense and immediate threat to life on Earth. So, they ran. Star Control was founded one year later. You can now see why we're so concerned oh, about alien whoa, radio whoa. signals. Oh, Riley! Mm. We found evidence the Lexite's mysterious Auto signal parts. comes from the W51 radio source. Hmm. The good news is that's 17,000 light years away. The bad news is it still causes the Lexites to run away. Like, immediately. There aren't many other clues to go on, though, so for now, your orders remain the same. Hmm. To Alpha and speak with the title. I think that the Urquan might get involved. Hmm. Alright, let's go to the shipyard. Trade. Let's go to the shipyard! Look at all this stuff. Cargo want to buy? All right, let's buy some items. See if we can get a lander. Fill me up. Fuel is ten. Eleven. Basic nuke. Oh. Damn, got me there. Okay, this is a little awkward. I don't like that. I honestly don't think I'm gonna like this one. So, apparently, apparently, we shouldn't sell all of our resources because there's stuff that we can buy. Those things that we need, like resources to get to. I don't like hmm. that. All right, so we filled up on we're filled up on gas. Let's outfit our ship with something. All right, so what do we have exactly? Basic nuke. All right, so that's a weapon system. Lander cannon. Oh. Lander module. Anti-gravity specialist maneuver just for allow you to land just become airborne. Ooh, three thousand. Interesting. Okay. Point defense. Advanced nuke. A more advanced nuclear missile with, uh... Improved tracking and range. Hmm. Sensors. My sensors indicate that you are, in fact, a weenie. <laughs> You're a weenie! What is this? Taiwan... Cuddle Drive? Okay. Trajectory correction computer for the captain just can't land right. This thing was just No! Just no! Modules. Crew quarters. Crew will be occasion. This is regrettable. Do such life. Here's where you keep spares. Okay. So. So far we only get crew stuff. Um. Let's see. AI fleet corner. Air fishers wanted to buy for. Okay, so that's specials. Fuel 
fuel tanks. Empty. Hawking thrusters. This thruster lets you point and ship directions. M drive mark one. Okay. Hmm. Special. So we have... How much crew do we have exactly? Like how many crews? So 100 crew. So you know what? Let's buy an extra crew quarter. We'll buy... Weak short laser for powerful or auto targets. The best good to like deflect the incoming projectiles. All right, mutter or mutter or chat. Should I get the point defense laser or should I get an advanced nuke? Uh, nuke. Advanced nuke it is. <laughs> oh, you're gonna regret that. Merrick will remember that. <laughs> The best through your entire gameplay has begun. Alright. So. And we don't have any other sensors. Alright, cool. Manage fleet. Let's see it. Let's see it with the time. Wait, what? Is there anything else? Well then, I'm ready. Nope, we'll get back to work. Good luck, Captain. Well, to activate our hyperdrive, just approach the edge of the solar system. It'll engage automatically. All right, let's punch it. Let's get to hyperspace. Oh like boy. Hyperdrive came with a navigational system, Captain. Let's open up the map now by pressing tab and use the search feature to find our way to Alpha Repair. Sector map. Oh wow. Wolf 359. Epsilon Tirime. Bernard Star. Ross one Epsilon Alpha Repuse Autopilot. There we go. That looks like a Taiwan ship. Hey. This can't be the only planet here, can it? Shin. Alright, let's bring her down, boys. Bring her down! This is like a quaint little planet. Wait. Palladium. Iridium. Critters. Oh, no. Don't tell me there's crites down here. That's all the platinum, but I don't see any critters. Oh, look at that. We can jump now. That's good. That's really good for navigation, actually. I'm glad I purchased this upgrade. Well, I don't see any critters anywhere. Are they hiding? What's this? It's a ring of rock. You get what you yuck and deserve. Oh, wait. Whoa. 
critters. It says there's critters here, but I don't see anything. Alright, I think we'll come back to Shin to catch some critters, because I don't see anything here. Alpha rep- Oh, it's a- wait, it's a star? Oh hey, a Taiwan ship! Let's go talk to them! Oh! Have you captured him? Did he weep much? We're escorting him home. You are? You mean Wimdu made a friend? This is the soggiest thing to ever happen to our civilization. The soggiest thing that ever happened to their civilization. Right away to the <laughs> what does that mean? Oh no. You look a lot like him, actually. It's not Would feeling when society all gets soggy. Look pretty much the same to us. Rest assured, I am a completely different Taiwan. And the next Taiwan, as eerily similar as he or she might look, will also be completely different. There is a ghost in my house. Where was your homeworld again? Taiwomia is in the Alpha Pedicule system. It's the fifth planet out. The really drippy one. The really drippy planet. <laughs> Ew. I don't know what that means. Alright, we'll head to your homeworld then. Are you really going to go there? You're not just saying you will, so we stay there all day waiting for you. Because we've had that happen. Alright. Taiwomi. Wait, is there worm? Is there worm? Is there moon called Slurm? <laughs> is there worm? <laughs> is there worm? Their worm is called Slurm. Worm. Calcium. Nothing, nothing of much value. There's calcium here, dude. 32 calcium. There is a worm. Where there's a whip. There's a there's way. A, worm. a Taiwan there's freighter. A, a Taiwan handler. Taiwomia. Oh my god, look at the king. Where there's a will, there is a worm. We greet you with many open arms. Chief Viscosity Officer they have a little king. Has already told us so they have a little world. We are come in peace seeking allies. We come in peace seeking allies and assistance. You wish to be our friends? Yes. We come in a world seeking allies and the world. Gladly, yes. Then of course we'll ally with you. This is the greatest day in Taiwan history. Where there is a will, there is a worm. It's one of your good day. It's one of our good days too. We will immediately our send adversaries to your homeworld to share technology, coordinate with your leaders, and practice handshakes. So, worm. What would you like to do now? Best friend. Worm, worm, Does anyone worm. on your ship want a massage? Worm, worm, worm. Does anybody? What should we do? What should we do about the scribe? We'd like to not get murdered by the scribe. That's going to be tricky. You've already blown up one of their ships. They hate them. Where there's a there's a worm. Can we hide from them? Can we apologize? Can we join their empire? Can we join their empire? They're not a big fan. We join the no worm. Worm. No, Mother, why are you singing about the worms? 
They haven't I've been worms have been stuck on my mind. Singing about the worms. They're just they're friendly. An exception for you. Where there's because again, a will, you did completely kill one of their ships. There's, where there's a will, there's a worm. Can we apologize? Let us slow down the destruction of your people by entire seconds. Oh shit. Can we fight them? Look, we know you have a lot of gumption. And spirit, and nuclear weapons. So many nuclear weapons. What is wrong with you? Anyway? So many. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with nukes? We just really like them. Is all. We feel awful about that. Really, we just like them. Well, even with those, I like birds. And you don't understand hyperspace. You only know like half the digits of pi. So no, you cannot fight the scribe. Not alone, at least. There With your help, we can tell the scribe you helped blow up their ship. You'll need to help us then. With your help. Also, no. What? Thanks for asking, though. We will be a big help. Hyperspace works at least. I think but that's we're just cool. not big fans of getting squished by the scribe. They've threatened to kill you already. You I already helped blow up one of their ships. That was you. Oh, that was you. That is not a distinction they will make at all. I think you that's want to kill cool. the heck out of us. <laughs> Your space so your slug Zoidbergs! You can't be popular forever, guys. Wow. You are definitely the first person who's Yo. ever told us that. Mm. My moment plush is right. gonna come in with a twenty six. We've seen lots of battle damaged scribes. Well, there is a word. Hmm, interesting. Which suggests some I honor if it's Really? We have no you idea are a word. So Who is doing something to the scribes? Like the kind of cool activity people tend to not include us in. I'm sure other aliens would just shy around, or just shy around you. There are lots of aliens around you. But most of them aren't that consequential. Are the you aware? Just leave them be. Until they Dig it in the ground. That is, and then... Pow. Pow! It's weird that the scribe have taken such an interest in you, in fact. Because, because you are, you are extremely inconsequential. I guess, I guess you, you just you. have that kind of look to you. These guys are pretty damn chill. Empires want to wipe you out. We live in like worms. We're all pretty much chill, despite we're all gonna die. We're all pretty much worms. We're in underground. They have lots of tentacles. We're pretty nice worms. They don't seem into it. Their home is in the squishy and round. Then there's the Mankmak. Get any in a Viper. The Mankmak. Their ships are in the speaker. Birds stole my friend. The speaker constellation. Them in lots of other places too. Really? Oh, and then there's the birds the are flying around. The Drunken. Some kind of living weapon. In the worms from they underground. Really like the scribe and really like we killing things for the scribe. We are worms. So we uh, don't have to worry about that too much. You can find them in the Alpha Uxor system us. if you like being killed. So avoid Uxor. Also, there's the scribe. Well, that's probably not that helpful. Okay. So, what are you going to do? I mean, what are we going to do? Living cool and proud. We're going to form an intergalactic alliance to stop the scribe. We're going to find out which aliens are shooting the scribe and offer to help. You are so cool. 
You can have as many hugs as you need. Worms also, perhaps more relevantly, Worms please feel free to come and get any Taiwan vessels that you have. I can crab, assure crab. you the Taiwan on board will be more than happy to come cool. with you. Wait, wait, I more think than that happy. Is cool. Like, it'll be weird. We Running can. Wait, we can just take ships. Tell us about yourselves. Tell us about yourself. I'm a worm under the ground. Uh, tell us about your species. Tell us about your species. I'm a worm at this. Our civilization is founded on the principles of lubrication. Principles of lubrication. And... That's pretty gross. Yo, yo, gross mutter, terms. mutter. I was right. I was right. These guys do have. These guys do know about the magic friendship. Ew. The the principles of lubrication, building ramps instead of stairs, and friendship. You seem awfully. Well. Seem awfully. Because deep down, Taiwama to an individual. You're a worm. If wasn't I glad on her crown. We believe the ancient Taiwan who you first came out of the swamp were much more friendly than the cool rest. Living proud. Living cool and proud. And that's the living cool and proud. Living underground. But a whole thing swept across the planet. A horrible oh, plague. Oh, everyone it made contact. Oh, 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 oh. Those isolated from other oh, 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 oh. So social distancing seems the losers you social mean? That's what we call them too. <laughs> they the Firms are distancing but passed on all the traits well. which made them so isolated well, in the first place. Living underground. I like this. Yeah, They're equal to cool. Taiwan civilization, but possessed all the traits that made them so yeah, isolated in the Uh Tell us about your home world. Oh, being used to fish. And we have being used to fish. There are only two being here used now. to fish. We're swimming underground. I like how you're singing the backup track to the song. How to work a spaceship. <laughs> all tied into one and <laughs> being used the to planet. fish. The good news they is, the plans stayed. <laughs> they're not going anywhere. Of course they're not going because anywhere. Until they, yeah. they want to. You don't see, uh, why are we, so why were you spying on us again? Okay, it's like this. Oh, we suck. Oh, we suck. We know that. It's fine. <laughs> Everyone tells really us all the time. Wow. Wow, I think, I think we found the personification of our stream. Living under No, you don't suck! That's very nice of you to say. Though I suspect your opinion will change very nice of you to say, though I suspect your opinion might change. And that's where the spying comes in. Someone who hasn't met us yet can't know how much we suck. I like how this guy just does so not break eye contact. Keep an eye out for young I know. Species on the no, he just broke eye contact. Developing hyperspace travel. And yeah, he looked away. Like, you, don't, you don't look at people like that when you talk to people. And we watch. You can. And that is like, like, sh it's like strong eye contact. Like, just <laughs> staring. <laughs> he's, st he's judging you silently. He's just waiting for you to respond. So, why? That's so creepy. So that's why you could speak our language. Oh, that's nothing. Your human language is easy to learn. Really? It's like a baby's language. Every alien out there will be able to understand what you're saying. Uh, why did we spend something like else? What? Best friend ever. Tell us about the scribe. The scribe are officially our bestest friend. Unofficially, they're awful and we hate them. How did you meet the scribe? About 600 years ago, we took our first dip into hyperspace, which was detected by scribe ships looking for that kind of thing. 
You cannot imagine how happy our people were to see their warships appear in orbit and tell us they were now our friends. Jalapeno poppers. They said they were your friends? We felt it was implied. Hmm? As the new servant slash best friends of the scribe, we earnestly set to our new duties in their empire. The scribe saw that we had keen, inquisitive minds and told us not to use them. Hey man, so they I think I'm gonna go. I gotta catch up on school. Later, mother. Have a good night. Goodbye, have a good stream. It's don't forget about the worms. But it's also I'm not gonna forget about the worms. Never get forget about the worms. Never forget about the worms. Okay, bye. Uh, have a good one. Us, or pretend their radials don't work when we're around. Which is actually preferable to them paying attention to us. Which usually results in one of their spaceships landing on us. Hmm. How long have the scribe been in power? They've been the dominant species since before history began. That's their words. They kind of look like the Illrath. Not that we've questioned it. They have a habit of shooting us when we ask questions like that. Also, when we don't ask questions like that. They really like shooting us is the main thing. Hmm. You don't seem that powerful. We kicked their ass easily enough. We know you defeated one of their damaged ships. It was damaged? But you'd be fools to engage a full strength scribe task force. Though maybe that's the kind of fools you are. Your kind is particularly good at shooting things. No other alien we've heard of has ever made quite as many nuclear weapons as you have. Has anyone been around as long as described? None that we know of. Maybe the Pinthi. But we try not to talk to them. There are signs of another race, though. One that disappeared long ago. No one knows their true name. Everyone just calls them the Precursors. You'll find their artifacts lying around every now and then. Hmm. Has anyone ever successfully resisted the Scribe before? If anyone has, the Scribe sure don't talk about it. Is anyone all right? We wanted to ask about something else. Like what, best friend ever? Who are these other aliens finding the scribe? A lot of the scribe vessels we've seen lately have suffered some damage in battle. We're not too sure what's happening, but they keep accusing us of working with the rebels, and then shooting us for it. Which suggests something's definitely up, but we don't actually know who's involved. That's the kind of cool activity people like to leave us out of. Hmm. That's enough about the scribe. Do you want to know anything else, best friend? How does this hyperspace thing work anyways? Hyperspace is above, below, and a little to the left of regular space. It's also a little bit redder. The net effect of all this is that with the hyperdrive, a ship can travel faster than the speed of light. Which is handy. Otherwise, it would have taken you 20 or 30 years to get here. One quirk of hyperspace, which your small dry minds might be struggling with, is how two-dimensional it looks. There's a very good reason for that. Which I advise you not to think about too much. It's why all stars can be charted in hyperspace with simple 2D coordinates. Another side effect is that from the perspective of someone perpendicular to hyperspace, there are still constellations. 
Uh, where would someone perpendicular to space be? Perpendicular space. I know this is all new to you. We are doing so well. Your hyperspace map contains all of the constellations generally accepted by spacefaring races in these parts. The hyperspace module has filled it in with the names of some of the stars most familiar to you. But the further out you go, the more it will resort to scribe standardized star names. Most are words from ancient scribe tongues, or the names of famous scientists or particularly corrupt politicians. Your translator will have filled in appropriate analogs from your people's culture. Hmm. All right, there's enough questions for now. Anything else, best friend? Uh, can we buy some supplies? Oh, sweet. Oh, we can outfit here too. So wait, is there something different here? Yeah, hey, fleet controller, crew quarters, crew quarters. Uh, fuel tanks. Nothing. Anti-gravity throw. You can't really get- Wow, there's nothing here. Time one cuddle drive. Ay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That fucking name. First Officer Kerry. Navigator Wimdu. Just happy to be here. Alright, so I think that's it. Taiwomia. Let's see, sector map. I think we gotta go back to Earth now. So we'll head back to Earth and we'll, uh... Just a few Taiwan ship- wait, wait, before we go back to Earth, actually. I'm gonna go talk to... Nope. I want to know what that ship is over there. That ship looks interesting. Taiwan Defender, and those are... Taiwan Freighters. I like this so far. There's a few different types of ships. Handler, and then that's... Okay, the graphics are bugging out. Taiwan survey vessel. All right. So let's take a defender. Hello, best friends. What are you up to? Can we come? Is your ship even armed? Not as such. But we do have scientific instruments and offboard pods that are dangerous if used incorrectly. Hmm. We have been known to deliberately use them incorrectly. We need to borrow some of your ships. Really? This... this has literally never happened before. No one has ever wanted to do anything with us. Yes, yes, I know. We'll no one likes you. from our fleet right now to join you. We're going to have such an adventure! See you later, Taiwan. See you later, best friends. This is going to be the first defender to die. Okay, so we got two defenders. Interesting. Alright, now... Taiwan transport vessel. Yay! Now 
our new best friends have stopped by. What is this place? This is one of our friendships. It's where we send Taiwan who have a hard time making friends at home. This colony is for the least popular oh, Taiwan. Oh shit. See you later, Taiwan. Bye. Okay, so we have so we have a Taiwan friendship gulag pretty much. All right, so let let's head back to Earth and talk about what we discovered here, and then I'll save and quit for tonight. Get a few extra minutes of the stream to make up for uh, me starting a little late. <laughs> Oh, what's this now? You have a Ooh. We have waited for you for a long time. We have been watching. We have never met before, but you know us. We are known as the Arelu Lalile. <gasps> it's the Arelu. What is it? You look very familiar. Of course we do. We have chosen this appearance because it is exactly what you expect an alien to look like. We always intended we would be the first to contact you. Events, however, have overtaken our intentions. The Taiwan were also watching us, apparently. The Taiwan are amateurs at watching you. We have a very particular interest in you. Discussing it now would complicate this conversation. Interesting. They know that we have watched you for several thousand years. Ooh. And that is all that you may know. Mm-hmm. We did not expect you to find us for some time yet. Events have accelerated. Your Lexites saw it. They took a different path. A darker path. But they are not our concern. Our bond is only with you. I have the biggest smile on my face right now. The fuck? We found the Aralu. Why do I get the feeling to... Let's talk about your appearance for a minute. <laughs> Why reveal yourselves to us now? The object near here is a space station left behind by a race of aliens who have long departed from this facet. Their true name is not known to any of your peers. Precursors is a common handle in this facet and Precursors? Their artifacts, like this space station, will not work for your peers, but they will work for you. Because we have activated them for you. We are not peers of the precursors. They are beyond even us. As they have often shown. But we have seen enough to know some of their tricks. Use these stations. They will be a great asset to you. Their caretakers are unique, but this is typical of precursor technology. It is time for us to go. Uh, uh, we're seeking alliance to defeat the scrap. Will you help us? Very few of my kind remain in true space. Advise we can, but defend we cannot. If you need advice on where to go next, Proxima Centauri is famously not far. The Moon of Calves there contains many valuable resources these star bases can make use of. Beyond that, do not worry. This will not be the last time we talk. You will be fine. Explore. Talk. Fight. I gotta rewatch the video be after this to human. be human. Oh my god. Oh no. Hello. 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 Oh no. Operation complete. Natural language interaction now possible with his rate of 99.5 honk honk. Percent. Six sold to you too. Six sold. What are you? 
checking up on motion and calibration staff. Oh no. This facility has been offline for 205,432 years. Why have I come online now? Checking. Exception. Reboot cause not found. We had some friends turn you on for us. Unlikely. Safety into life forms known to exist in this region of space are several orders of magnitude to primitive dog rapers facility. Who are you? We're humans. Checking. 99.8% chance you are descendants of pre sapiens on local green belt world. Insignificant. This is quite a mystery. Forget that. This what are you? An automated port, research, recreational facility created by exception, name not found. I am an avatar of that facility. I have been projected into this facet of the multiverse to facilitate its use. This facility, and others like it, can process raw minerals into generalized resource units and then process those into fire oh. or a vessels. Ooh, interesting. Stories. Really? Check signs indicate large portions of my eternal memory have been corrupted. Consequently, this facility only has limited information on the following topics. Exception, name not found, local stars, and fun facts. Tell us about these name not found folks. Exception, name not found, linked to these stars for exception, duration not found, years. They did things which I have no record of. The volume of missing records suggests they did many of those things, however. This facility is one of those things, designed to assist with the conduct of many of those things. It seems though that this facility has laid dormant for 205,432 years. Its activation now indicates exception. Things it indicates not found. That's it. That's all I know. Ooh. There are other facilities that might be able to offer more. Okay, so there's probably more facilities that Arlo might open for us. Tell us about the local this stars. This region occupies a minor arm of the galaxy and has a typical composition of star types and ages. Notable exceptions of course. include the unusually low density of interstellar media in this area. Likely the red supershell or supernovae that occurred 18 million years ago. This region has been continually filled with sapient life since recordings began 218,209 years ago, albeit at a slightly lower density than found in other parts of the galaxy. Interesting. Tell us a fun fact. The 200 billionth digit of E is 2. That wasn't that fun. This facility is over 200,000 years old. Standards may have changed. Calibrations are still continuing. The 200 billionth digit of E is two. That's enough about you. Anything else? Uh, you said you were star base. This is some star base things. Wait, Hypergate? Oh! Manage fleet. Oh, we got two Taiwan defense. Oh, no, no, we got three ships. Okay. We can have a lot more than in Star Control 2. I just realized that now. Holy shit. Well, then. All right, so now we don't need it. Is there anything else? We'll just be going now. One other thing before we go. This facility has peas scattered throughout the spur. They are statistically likely to have experienced different corruption in their memory banks and may have access to different design templates for constructing ship components. Mm -hmm. Also of note, from any facility you'll be able to access the Hypergate material movement process and instantly travel to another facility you have already visited. Ah, uh, okay. Of course, it's like a fast travel system. Farewell, not found. Let's dock it. Welcome back. Six seal. We'll come back. Uh, let's do some starbase things. Outfit. Does this have anything different? Mm. Oh, ooh. System scanner lets you quickly find objects of interest on the planet, everybody. Ooh, yeah, I'll take that actually.
No new sensors. Let's see any mod, any other mod other than the docking bay. Any new with these? Nope. Well then, we can't do much now. All right. Is there anything else? We'll just be going now. All right, let's get back to Earth. All right, so definitely gonna keep our eyes open for more of those. That's gonna be interesting. Wait. Oh, those are Taiwan ships. Welcome back, Captain. You should know that a delegation of Taiwan have just arrived. I saw their ships outside. To share information, provide technology, and assist with our shipbuilding. They're also very interested in just hanging out. Allying with the Taiwan surprisingly easy. Let's not be ungrateful, Captain. We have few friends here. Which brings me to my next point. Star Control has new orders for you, Captain. Mm -hmm. The Taiwan, bless their sticky hearts, know less about this galaxy than we hoped. So, in order to fulfill our goals of not getting annihilated by homicidal aliens, we're going to need some more information. According to the Taiwan, there are a number of other alien civilizations within our immediate vicinity. We want you to contact these aliens and find out if they'll be willing to help us as the Taiwan have. Of course. It sounds like these scribe already have enemies. Mm -hmm. If you can find out who those aliens are, I'd suggest they'd be a good place to start. Definitely. Is that all? Oh, there's lots more you could do. I just wanted to start you off with the easy task of preventing humanity's complete annihilation first. But if you want more, you could always secure mineral wealth for us. Or find out what happened to the Lexites. Or find love amongst the stars. What kind of resources do we need? Everything. If we're about to get drawn into an interstellar war, there's a good chance we'll need everything we can get. You're just one ship, though, Captain. And you've got more important work to do. Your primary mission is exploration, so do that. If you find any particularly wealthy worlds, by all means, collect what you can. It'll help out your mission, if nothing else. But don't worry too much about us. We can handle the boring logistical stuff. What kind of resources do you need? You want me to give kisses to aliens? That was a joke, Captain. Remember, you're now humanity's public face. Our only representative out there. It's imperative that whenever you meet an alien, you make a good impression. That probably won't involve kissing. You haven't seen how I kiss. Nope. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> about the, let's talk about the like sites. We can hardly ignore Star Control's original mission, even if recent events seem to have overtaken things. It's all about the sure, like sites, because nothing new. Uh, okay, they got a handle on all hey, of it. Captain, you have been authorized to take the ship wherever you best see fit to complete this mission. Feel free to return here as necessary to repair, resupply, and debrief us on what you learn. Yours is the only human vessel which can enter hyperspace at the moment, so this all rests on your shoulders. Though we're working on ways to fix that, we'll let you know how that goes. Now then, how can I help you? With the, oh, let's respawn the, the ship. Taiwan, we've finally been able to bring our module manufacturing equipment online. Mm -hmm. You'll now be able to build a variety of new modules to upgrade your ship's capabilities. Of course. And keep an eye out for any weird bits of alien technology. Can you do. To anything you find into a new module for your ship. None of this will be free, though. Modules and hyperdrives require exotic materials we just can't synthesize fast enough. 
which means if you want ship upgrades or escort vessels, it might be faster to collect the materials yourself. From the shipyard, you can use RU to refuel your vessel, upgrade it, or build escort vessels. Let's get to the shipyards. So what other things do we have now? Only crew quarters in a docking bay. And a system sk- wait. Still no new sensors. Alright. Three Taiwan defenders. All right. Anything else, Captain? I'll get going then. Good luck, Captain. All right. So we made some nice progress. Uh, I'm gonna call this save. Taiwan Bromigos. Alright. Well then. That was fun. I really like that. Uh, some stuff like having to upgrade your ship with like when you like those weird little sh those weird chips that I saw that I bought like with uh, platinum and RU points. I don't like that. I think that that's a little too much. I just kind of wish we could have, like, a rec the requisition system from 2. I'm glad to see the Aralula Lele back. That was great. Caught me by surprise. I thought that, you know, I wouldn't be seeing anything from Star Control 2. Or, yeah, well, just Star Control 2 in general. Now, that makes me wonder if the, whatchamacallit, the Chenjesu or all, like, the other species, like the Kimmer, and, like, all the other, like, alien species. But not even, not really all of them. But some of them are around. Because that's going to be pretty damn cool if they are. Hell, I might even be thinking that one of the people, one of the things that are fighting back the Scribe might be the Urquan. Knowing them. Or or that signal that the uh, Lexites heard was the Urquan in a far off galaxy. Basically being like, eh, we're coming for you. We are coming for you. We are the Urquan core. Like that old shit. I can't wait for more. I can't wait to play more of this next Thursday. Anyway, guys, like I said, check out the YouTube stream archive where all the streams go, including this one. This should be up by tomorrow morning. Um, check out the uh, – like you know, all the streams go. Check out – we also got other things. We got Star Control 2. We finished Resident Evil 2, and we also have Resident Evil 4 and 5 up on the channel, um, as well as a lot of other streaming games. And check, them, you know, check them all out when you get a chance. We got some cool games going. And other Sonic games that Mutter kind of like spoiled that we're going to be doing a Sonic game tomorrow. But, shit happens. Other than that, like I said, if you like what I do, please consider donating to the Patreon down below in the description next to the Mixer. And I should say that all of the things I'm going to say here are in the channel banner on YouTube and in the channel description on YouTube. Uh, please note, you don't have to donate if you don't want to. It's completely optional. Do this for free. I do this for fun. Do not feel obligated to donate if you can't, or, you know, donations are appreciated, but they're not required. It's completely free. There are some perks involved which in our Discord server down below, which you can join completely for free, set up by my moderator, Jetlock. He's a cool bro, and I'm really thankful that he was able to set that up for me. Um, we also have a, uh, like I said, I remember, completely free from that. Uh, follow me on Twitter for status posts, updates, stream links, archive links, and all sorts of other funny shit that I post that I, t like, you know, talk about here or not talk about here. It all depends on how, you know, all depends on where, what goes where and how things go. Other than that, last but not least, follow me on Newgrounds where I post stream links as well as if they ever get a regular video uploader tab. I'll definitely be uploading archives there for better recovery purposes because you two are media pences who don't like fun. I've had streams taken down for songs that were used in context, such as All on the Watchtower by Jimi Hendrix. 
uh, Yellow Submarine by the Beatles and uh, jo- and fucking Roundabout, whose band I can't remember playing it. Anyway, other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, but yeah, the, even if your video is not monetized, it'll take down everything anyway. I don't monetize this channel at all. I don't monetize this channel and I don't monetize anything. But yeah, they'll take it down in your video anyway because the company that owns it is just like, fuck you, you can't play this song. Other than that, hope everybody has a good night. Remember, guys, I'm, once again, happy to be here. Glad I was able to do this and I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, guys, be yourselves. Remember, as always, Mecca like a high, Mecca Heidi Ho, Mo Mecca Chai, Mecca Mo Mecca Hey, Pickle Barrel Come Quat, Jimmy Cherry Changa. That's the secret word of the day. All right, guys, I'll catch you all later. Merrick out. See you guys.